Hello and welcome. This is a walk down to Box Canyon Trail in Mount Shasta. We started at the, the edge of Lake Siskiyou. There is a, a, <coughs> a dam. So I assume the lake is uh, um, what's the word? Not natural. So there's a a deep um, canyon here, and we're walking on one side of this uh, canyon. And after some, well, here I look back at the, the dam. I think there is a electricity generation um, system there. I'm not sure, but this goes. The walls are steep and deep. It's, a, it's really a deep uh, uh, canyon gorge through the, the landscape here. So we're walking here along the trail and after some 10 minutes you come to what I think is a really interesting location in, in Mount Shasta. It's a, a car graveyard and you can find cars from the 1930s onward. So around that time in this hill there must have not been any trees because otherwise these these cars wouldn't have been able to to get here so this is a pretty steep hill and on the top of this hill currently there is a golf course i'm not sure at in the 1930s what was there but apparently people had the habits to dump their old cars over the edge and into this this canyon so all along the, the hillside you will find uh, car wrecks and mm -hmm. interesting old models. Mm. A few you will see along the trail, but to see all of them you will have to climb up the hill and I'll do that in a a few minutes. So so far, these are the the cars that you can see just from the trail. And over time, there's a lot of graffiti painted on the cars. So all of these, what I could tell, um, they're basically just the empty shells. There's nothing in there anymore. The engines are gone, the, the seats are gone. In most cases, the, the tires are gone. So I'm sure, I assume they were stripped before they were dropped off the hill. You can see how much they are covered with the uh, soil and grown over by the trees and other vegetation. So I will let most of it speak for itself. In a, a little while though, um, when I'm climbing up the hill, you will also get a, um, some nice wildflowers. There's 
this time of year, July, it's a perfect time to go for hikes in this area because all the wildflowers are in, in bloom. Beautiful orchids, purple orchids, and some other flowers that uh, I don't know exactly what they are, but it's just a beautiful sight. So that you will see in a couple minutes from here. And aside from the, the cars, there are also a couple of appliances, like all the washing machines and things like that. It's not too easy to see through the vegetation here but there are cars down the hill there also while walking there it's it's much more easier to to see all the all the different um, car bodies in contrast to here on the video it's it's much more difficult to see so here is one of those I guess washing machines and this you can take as a marker for later in the video because we'll basically go up the hill and circle around and then come back when we come back we'll pass this this same um, appliance again and then we will continue on the trail but first we will make a climb up the hill But for the moment we are still on the, the trail, the easy trail.
Hello. Hi. You've been here before? Yes. Okay, so you know about cars up there. Yeah. Thank you. So here next to this car party, there's a very steep, um, barely visible trail that goes uphill. So now we're going off the main trail and just going up the hill. to look for more car bodies and appliances here. And as you can see it in the movement of the video, this is a steep climb. side up and here you can clearly see that the engine is gone and it's just an empty shell The little trail continues. Here we get we came to a really lush area, uh, very green, many wildflowers here. There you can see some of the uh, the orchids, purple orchids. There's a better well camera would focus, that would have been a better view. This is a little better in focus. 
I'm just filming on a uh, mobile phone, so I don't have really much, if any, control of changing focus. So I'm really dependent on how the camera captures it. Luckily, in most cases, it's good enough. Not always. So here you can see a little better that it's an orchid. And you see these all over Manchester. I mean all over the, the city of Manchester. Manchester City is at an elevation of some 3,000, 3,500 feet, while the Mount Shasta, the mountain, the top is at some 14,000 feet. But here, this this Box Canyon Trail is in at the edge of Manchester City. And like we saw in the beginning, it starts uh, at the lake, Lake Siskiyou. So here again, uphill, very lush, many beautiful flowers, purple, yellow here. Not sure what kind these are. But you can see it all uphill. And I'm not, not sure if you go uphill here more, if you will find more car bodies or not. This little trail that I'm following right now it basically stays pretty much at the same elevation. So I'm going in a sense um, going back parallel to the, the main trail that is further down the hill. And this 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 little trail is really places barely visible. There's a car body almost completely covered with soil. And you have to walk over it to stay on, the, on this little pathway. And so again, we are here on a, on a very steep hill on the edge of a canyon. And a little later on, when I continue the trail, you will get some better views of the, the canyon itself and how deep it is and uh, the, the water that's flowing through. I think this is the, considered the start of the... Uh, um, Sacramento River. Well, not this what you're looking at, but the the river that that starts at uh, Lake Siskiyou and then goes through the canyon. And again, 
so many car bodies fallen on top of each other so here we're looking uphill Then we're looking down on what I think was one of the, the newest models and interesting, this one still had the, the tires on it. You can see the, the bumper style, it's a newer like 1950s, 1960s type of model. And then here I pretty much got stuck in the vegetation. It was uh, um, <coughs> difficult to get through. So I found a path down and the car that you that we were just looking at from above, that's the same one. But now a little lower on the hill. The chrome held up pretty good over this long time but from here on I was trying to find a way back down the hill again to try to get on the, the main the main trail and Going down the hill, still came across some other cars. So I'm sure there are many, many more than what I showed in this uh, short video. But I hope this gives a nice impression of all the, the car bodies there and how they were overtaken by the forest. The trees have really taken over again. Nature has taken over again. As always happens. Nature was always seeking balance. So there really isn't a path here, I'm just trying to find my way down the hill. Because I know that at some point I, I will have to cross the main trail. the few bodies and that still had some paint on it. Most of the other bodies that uh, you saw earlier they're pretty much stripped of all the paint and you just see the the, the bare metal but the few bodies few of the car bodies like the one we just saw still has some or most of the paint on it.
and you can also see by the pace that I'm just very carefully slowly are going downhill and actually you are back on the the main trail you may recognize the cars from before so I made it down there is the washing machine or appliance that that we saw before for the reference point so from here on I'll just continue the trail just to give um, a sense of what's what else is here on Box Canyon Trail the total length of this trail not sure it's probably a mile or two and then you'll get to a dead end um, actually it's not truly a dead end there is a very small trail that continues but it goes then very steep down the hill and uh, I turned around towards usually considered the end of the trail but for now we're still close to the car graveyard and in a moment we'll just continue the, the main trail as we do here make some cuts because most of it is the same but here we're turn, I'm turning around and I'll show you down there is the river the, the right you see the, the the water rapids so that's the river flowing down the canyon you can see I'm pretty high up compared to where the river is now and at the same time we're looking at the other side of the canyon the wall going up again following the trail so this is all pretty much the same level it's a easy trail to walk here you can see get a sense of how steep it goes down There's some nice interesting rock formations here especially towards the end, as you will see in a little bit and again, on video it's really difficult to get a sense of what is going down, how deep is it going down they're down here a view of the water again, the river but truly to get a sense of how far down it is it's difficult to convey on, on video especially since this is a relatively um, wide angle lens that is on my mobile phone and unfortunately I only have one lens I don't have an option to zoom in 
or give a different perspective. So here we are come to the end of the trail and as I mentioned before there's some interesting rock formations here including one rock that is quite precariously balanced on top of some other rocks it's to the left well while we're taking a look down down the canyon again but now you see here there's this one rock and there's a gap between the, the rock on the left and the rock on the right and then as I pan up you will see that there is another rock balancing on top of these two you see the bottom of that rock Supporting rocks and the one on top. It's a little bit difficult to film because I'm standing on a quite narrow ledge on the side of these rocks. <laughs> on the right it goes uh, very steep down into the So as best as I can, I'm just circling around the rock here. Because on the left side also it goes down. And like I said before, this is pretty much the end of the trail. But if you look carefully, you will see that there is a... Uh, well, you cannot see it here, but if when you are there you will see that there is a, a small path that goes further and down so if you're very adventurous you may try that again looking down in the canyon But I turned around here and there is a... When you turn around you will see you are, there are two paths. One that you came from and one that is a fork. And it doesn't matter which one you take back they both will take you back to the same main trail it's it's just a uh, just a, a loop so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day